Number 34. Suppose the maximum safe intensity of microwaves for human exposure is taken to be 1 watt per square meter. Letter A. If a radar unit leaks 10 watts of microwaves uniformly in all directions, how far away must you be uh, to be exposed to an intensity considered to be uh, safe? So uh, the intensity should not exceed 1 watt per square meter, right? So we can consider that to be the intensity, all right? 1 uh, watt per square meter. And uh, they want to ask us, or they're asking us, how far away do we have to be? So you got to consider that, uh, you know, that uh, we have a sphere. All right, so bear with me here. Pretend we have a sphere. I hope you like my drawing here. And in the middle of the sphere is going to be the source of the microwaves. And they're getting emitted in kind of all directions. All right. So what we have to do here is we have to find a safe distance away. And that distance we'll call R from the source. Okay, and this source, they told us, has a or is emitting 10 watts of microwaves okay that's the power all right so uh, we have to remember our intensity formula that intensity is going to be equal to power over area and since we're dealing with a sphere the the area of a sphere is going to be 4 pi r squared it's basically the area of a circle just times 4 so if i want to find r just simply cross multiply this right and then take the square root of both sides and then when you do that, you can get rid of the square on that R, and that's what you're finding now. You're finding that safe distance. So now all we now need to do is plug in the values. So the power here is going to be 10 watts divided by 4 pi, right, divided by 4 pi times that safe intensity of 1 watt per meter squared. And all we have to do is simply take out that calculator and plug it on in. So square root of uh, 10 divided by then parenthesis 4 pi. All right. And what do we get? So we get here about uh, 0 0.892, 0 0.892, and that's in terms of meters, okay? So a little less than a meter, uh, we would you would be considered to be uh, safe. All right, so that takes care of now letter, uh, letter A. Uh, letter uh, a B, it's saying, uh, what is the maximum electric field strength? Blah, 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 okay. So uh, we have to relate now <clears throat> intensity to maximum electric field strength. We have the formula over here that the intensity will be equal to the speed of light times the uh, permittivity of free space multiplied by the maximal electric field strength squared, all then divided by two. To solve for the electric field, cross multiply these terms on out, right, bring the two on up, it becomes divided now by, let's clean this up a little bit. All right, let's move the equal sign down. Look at how nice and easy this is. And then you have to square root both sides. When you square root that, it cancels this square, so. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. And now all we now need to do is simply plug it in. So 2 multiplied by that intensity, okay? The safe intensity is 1. That was given to us before. Divided then by the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8, multiplied by the permittivity of free space, which, are, which is about 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12th. All right, and this is all under the square root. And let's see what we're going to get for the max, okay? So square root of 2 divided by parenthesis 3 times 10 to the 8 times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. All right, great. So we got 27.4. All right, 27.4. 27.4 watt volts per meter. Those are the units for electric field. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Check out some more of our videos. I really do hope that they help. And we got chemistry and also pre-calculus out there. So, you know, if you find yourself, I don't know, either in the class or... Who knows, wanting to study that without even being in class, kudos, then seek them out. We'll see you soon.